Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and in today's video, I'm gonna cover a topic that I read earlier today. It's about a problematic buggy application. It is a keyboard app that is called Microsoft Swift Key and it's a keyboard that you can download on your Samsung phone, but there has been reports in the past and maybe even recent where if you have your default keyboard as Swift Key and you have a password that is on your device, after you update the Samsung One UI 7, the keyboard does not pop up for you to put in your password protected lock screen. So what that means is that you have to take it off of default when you update your Samsung phone. So how you can change that, there is a couple ways, just in case if you use Swift Key, you can press and hold on your little voice icon down here, go to the input method, and then down over here, you tap this, and then you take it away from Swift Key because what happens is it'll go to the lock screen, but it will not pop up the keyboard for you to get into your phone. The only way you would be able to get into it is by having a dongle with you that is USB type C on one end and then USB A on the other that you can plug in a keyboard to type in your password. Now, not everybody has this and they're not accessible to a keyboard and this at the same time when they update their phone. So this is just a way to stay clear of this issue that could happen. So this right here is Swift Key. So if you have it, again, tap on that keyboard and switch it back over to Samsung and then go and update your phone to Samsung One UI 7. Now here's the other thing. Let's say that you don't wanna do it through this method here. There's another way that you can update your keyboard and make sure that it is set as default. You just wanna go right inside of your settings and then once inside of settings, you're gonna scroll down and then this is where you're gonna look for general management. Now, once inside of general management, you go right here where it says keyboard list and default. So it's gonna show you all of the different keyboards that you have. On the very top, it shows you which one is the default. This is where you switch it from Swift key over to the Samsung keyboard, and then you are good to go for an update. Now, if for some reason you forget to do this, or maybe you did update your phone and you can't put in your password and you totally forgot the fact that you have dongles that can use other accessories in here like mouse, uh, like you can use like a mouse, you can use a keyboard. There's a lot of stuff that you can use. Pretty much what you would have to do is you would plug this in and I can also place a link for a type C to type a dongle, you know, from Amazon. I can just put that in my description below. Then this is where you plug in your keyboard. And let's say that again, we are in that lock screen and I try to swipe this thing up and I can't type it out. This is where you would have to pretty much pull out your keyboard. And then this is where you type in your password. And then once you put in your password, you hit enter, and then you're gonna go inside. Now, the code that I made for this one, at least just for this video is, uh, I put like pound, and then I went to subscribe. You hit enter, and now you're in your device. So if you ever get locked out of your phone, maybe you have a cracked screen or something happened and your display is not interacting with your fingers, you know, don't forget that you can still do this either with a mouse, you can do it with a keyboard, whatever. And now that you have successfully unlocked your device, this is where you go right back inside of your settings just to make sure that this doesn't happen again. You go inside of general management, this is where you go to keyboard list and default. And then this is where you would switch it from the Swift key over into the Samsung keyboard. So that is everything that I wanted to share in today's video, because if you remember when you reset your phone or you do a update, you don't have the option to do face recognition or fingerprint. It's always whatever that code is that you have to put in. So biometrics is turned off the first time you unlock your phone when it comes down to an update or restart or anything like that. Then after you basically unlocked it with either your pin or your password, then that's when the biometrics kick into gear. So this is just a little reminder to make sure that you get yourself just in case a little dongle, you know, something that's probably like nine or 10, 12 bucks. Basically you plug this into your Samsung phone. This is where you can plug in a, a mouse. You can plug in a keyboard. You can plug in a flash drive. Pretty much anything that's USB-A can actually be pushed into here. And then you are able to use your phone. There was actually a long time ago that I had to use one of these dongles with a, I think it was a micro USB on the bottom and I was in a store customer 
customer was not able to interact with their phone screen, but they could see it. So I was able to have this here. We plugged it into the store's computer, basically the keyboard. So then this way we'd be able to get into their phone and then we backed it up and then we're able to transfer them to a new phone. So this is just a reminder. If there's something problematic in the past, something that's buggy, you might as well get away from it. So don't use Swift key if you are updating your Samsung phone, even though I think they addressed it where they probably fixed it. But again, it's never perfect. If it had problems in the past or if it was proven to be buggy at one point, you might as well be safe than sorry. Uh, not only Swift key, but also this little baby tiny little dongle right there. But hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.